Hey guys, it's Jerry Van Allen, and I am back with another harmonica lesson. Uh, sorry it's been a bit, as you notice, um, it's a different location in the background, and this is my new place. Um, so yeah, I had to move and was in school and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, but I won't go into that too much, because some of you guys don't want to hear about my life. Um, but I have a few things for you. I do have some announcements and updates, one of them being that I moved. Um, I'm still in Boulder, well technically Gun Barrel, but um, I did have to move. Um, it's a better place and, and I'm happy and it's cheaper. Um, I wanted to make an official announcement about the Hill Country Harmonica um, workshop coming up in May that I'm a part of. I will be part of the group of young harmonica players putting this on and I'll get a chance to perform too on I think Thursday, May 17th. That's the night it starts and it's going for four days and four nights. And so this is the best deal um, for something like this that you're going to find for harmonica. And there's a bunch of great players going to be there, not only to perform, but to teach workshops. And you'll get to be there on site all weekend with these harmonica players, including um, including myself, giving tips, um, jamming, just having fun, sharing food. Um, there's going to be some great catering, I hear. But it's 225. It's in May, May 17th. It's in... Um, it's in northern Mississippi, in between Oxford and then uh, Memphis, Tennessee is above it. Um, and it's, if you want to know more, it's hillcountryharmonica.net, I believe. I will link that in the description. Um, but some of the players there that you can be learning from are um, Adam Gusso, Charlie Siles, Todd Parrott, Jimmy Lee, Brandon O'Bailey, Mitch Kashmar, and Omar Coleman. And they all have links to all their playing and bios and everything on this website. And if you do decide to go, please, when you register, mention my name. And yeah, and I encourage you to sign up soon because spots are filling up and the price I think is going to increase. Um, after January 1st. Um, I had a few questions and thank you for all the new subscribers. That's really awesome. Um, I had a few questions as to far as vibrato and then um, what about the top end of the harmonica? Yes, of course I use the top part of the harmonica. Not all players do. A lot of them stop at the six hole below and draw a six hole in general. Um, because it it doesn't sound the same. It gets higher pitched. Um, it's not as bluesy unless you're playing first position and doing bending, but we're not getting into first position. And I do have a method to my teaching madness. There's a reason why I have not presented the top end, the high end of the harmonica yet. Um, but those that asked, um, stay tuned and I will. This is geared towards totally beginners and I'm working you guys up and this is I think lesson 20 so I didn't feel like we were ready to go to the high end right now especially because we still have to talk about the low end um, but I will just to make some of y'all happy um, show you a little bit about the high end. Now this is going to get a little bit theory-ish um, but it's the harmonica, oh, I have my little, my little light board. The harmonica is a instrument built on, um, it's basically like three little harmonicas. Like all the notes are the same in, in fours besides getting the bends, you have to get certain notes. But I thought it'd be nice to show you guys um, through the pentatonic scale, I'm leaving out the low end because I haven't been able to teach you guys how to bend because you guys are so curious and want to know other things ahead of time. Um, so this is the major pentatonic scale, um, and it is three draw, four draw, five blow, six blow, six draw, seven draw, eight draw, eight blow, nine blow, and ten draw. And I hope this isn't backwards, because it's definitely backwards for me. Hmm. Um... And so you see that it goes um, B, D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A. Now think about that, you see the repeating notes. So anything you do on a four hole draw, which is a D, we're with the key of C harmonica as usual, 
is also can be done with the eight draw because it's the same note. It's just an entire um, octave higher. And same with five blow to eight blow, six blow to nine blow. So this is it. If you want to write it down. And also I put the scale degrees up here in case you all are interested in that. Um, the major pentatonic scale is a five note scale. <laughs> I'm looking at notes. Um, with the fourth and seventh uh, scale degrees emitted. Um, and it has like more of a major feel to it. So it won't be bluesy. And that's what I mean when I say major. Um, so this is can get you started. Um, but it's also... For total beginners, I wouldn't mess with the top end right now because it can sound really hokey pokey unless you know what you're doing. And most players don't even use it because it's intimidating and it can be hard. It can be difficult. Um, one of the coolest things though is um, just knowing that four draw and a draw are the same notes. Um, Eight draw is actually really nice on the high end, um, but you have to be able to work your way up there. Now, this isn't in the major pentatonic scale, but four draw and five draw, which isn't in the scale, so that's D and F, um, and eight draw and nine draw are the same, D and F. So if you know how to warble four and five, then you can warble eight and nine. So that's a good thing, little thing to get you started with that. Um, you can also start looking at what notes are on your harmonica um, on the low end licks and transferring them. Um, so that's just something to get you started. I don't want to dive too deep into this right now. Um, but that's just what it is. And this is the way it sounds. Forgive me if I mess up. This isn't the whole scale and I don't do this scale often. So that's it. Um, and you can just see four draw, eight draw, split octave, which we'll get to later. Just be patient. Patient, patience is a virtue. Um, forgive me if I'm a little out of it. I've had uh, quite the time. Um, which, if you're following me on Facebook or anything, you would know. Um, dealing with health issues and whatnot, which have been remedied, but meant that I had to quit my job, which I'm really sad about. But that means I get to spend more time with you guys and um, do more harmonica lessons. So there'll be much more coming um, out soon. Um, so I have a new hat on, so I feel like I have a new haircut because uh, I found out I'm allergic to wool. And I worked in a hat shop that sold wool hats, and so I can't wear my normal hats either. Um, so yeah, bummer, but you know, what can you do? Um, life is still good. <laughs> and I figured it out. So that's awesome. Um, let's see. Um, I wanted to talk a second about vibrato. I have touched on this before. Um, but basically the gist is you have to practice doing this really weird throat thing, which is... <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll do a six hole draw. All right, that's fine. So I'm like, it's like stopping and starting my airflow really fast. So you can do it. I'm trying to slow it down. Um, so I, uh, I love vibrato. It's awesome. It adds a lot of color to your playing, a lot of dynamics, a lot of emotion. Um, but really the only way to practice to do this silly thing where you're like drawing in and going, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, that's very flattering. Um, Yeah. <laughs> 
you want to practice your breathing for this because you'll get filled up really quickly. So. You can also do a belly vibrato, but I don't do it that way. Um, and I think it's the same thing with your voice because I have a lot of vibrato in my singing and I think it's because of this. Um, so I guess you could look at vocal lessons for that too. But we'll do a four hole draw, which is D. So I'm gonna like take the harmonica away from my mouth. This is a really hard um, thing to teach besides if you don't understand what I'm saying when I go. <laughs> So my tongue's not doing anything, my lips aren't doing anything, it is all in the back of my vocal cords. Let's see if this will show you anything. Nope. <laughs> um, and you could do it with tongue blocking too, so we'll do four draw. With the tongue blocky, you can actually see the side of my mouth. You see that going kind of fluttering? So that is what's happening at the very back, you know, like where that ball thing is hanging um, <laughs> in the back of your mouth. Um, wow. I knew I shouldn't have done a harmonica lesson when I am... Uh, not thinking clearly. <laughs> um, yeah, yesterday was just quite a day, but I am fine. I just got back from an open mic as well. But anyways, now I am blabbering. Um, I will show you this again. So you can start messing with the top end and we will go more into this later. I'm just trying to keep this short. I just wanted to get something to you guys, an update. And I'm very, very sorry it's taken like five weeks for the since the last lesson I would also just say that um, don't worry about the top end at all I'm just answering your question and also with the vibrato um, I will have another lesson out as soon as I'm done with finals uh, in school and then I will I'll get back to my original plan, which I do have a plan. I actually have lesson plans made out, and um, it's to build you guys up, and I wouldn't say dive right into the, the high end of the harmonica right off the bat. Um, if you really want to, but master the low end first. And it's going to take a long time to master that, um, or become very proficient, I should say. Um, I think next... Next time I'll go more into um, maybe in getting down to the low end bends, um, one whole draw bend, and maybe starting on the three and the two, um, and maybe some more about improvising and different methods to that and using stuff in your tool belt and licks. So there's much more to come, and I'm so happy that you guys are choosing me to be your harmonica online coach. I do offer private lessons. Um, also, um, if you live in the area, we can meet face to face. If not, we could do it through video chat. If you're interested in that, um, my email address is um, going to be in the link below as well. So love you guys. Thank you so much. And play lots of harmonica and happy holidays.